Among the many traits that distinguish eukaryotic from prokaryotic cells, none is more conspicuous or significant than the eukaryotic endomembrane system. Its origin is a puzzle, because no true intermediates in the prokaryote to eukaryote transition are known. At the level of cell organization, the prokaryote to eukaryote transition is the deepest evolutionary divide in the living world. Where then did eukaryotes obtain their endoplasmic reticulum, that is the ER, in their nucleus? Over the last 50 years, many models have been proposed. They typically derive the endomembrane system from inward imaginations of the plasma membrane. Here the ER lumen is topologically homologous to the environment. Such theories usually consider phagocytosis and an endomembrane system a prerequisite for the uptake of the symbiont. In that view, eukaryotes became complex before they acquired the mitochondria. But current phylogenetic studies have it that mitochondria arose in an archaeal host through endosymbiosis and that mitochondria were present in the eukaryotic common ancestor. In our paper, we propose that the eukaryotic endomembrane system came from the mitochondrion itself in the form of outer membrane vesicles called OMVs for short. It has been known for decades that prokaryotes secrete vesicles into the environment. The essence of our proposal is that the bacterial ancestor of mitochondria was able to produce OMVs and that it did so as it became an endosymbiont and that those OMVs provided the initial seed of the eukaryotic endomembrane system. In this view, endosymbiosis is the key to eukaryote complexity and in support of our proposal, modern mitochondria generate membrane vesicles that they secrete into the cytosol. The ancestral mitochondrion secretes OMVs into the host archaeal cytosol, what results is a kind of instant ER with an outward directed membrane flux. Vesicles consisting of bacterial lipids produced by the mitochondrion present a new target for the host archaeal sac pathway of co-translational protein insertion into membranes. Fusion of those new vesicles with the plasma membrane yields a basic but functional eukaryotic sac pathway. Fusion of mitochondrial derived vesicles with each other yields a basic endomembrane system upon which natural variation and selection can act. Also the nuclear envelope, a functionally distinct extension of the ER, initially formed from primordial ER cristae. The nucleus is thought to have evolved to separate transcription, that is low due to spliceosomal introns, here shown in yellow, from fast translation, which is now occurring exclusively in the cytosol. In cells with open mitosis, we can observe how the nuclear envelope arises from ER vesicles that also store proteins of the nuclear pores when it disintegrates during cell division. Our model shines new light on the sequence of events in which eukaryote-specific cell compartments arose. We start with the ER and the co-translational secretion system, followed by cotomer proteins and dynamins. The origin of the nucleus and inward bound membrane flux in the form of phagocytosis coming later. We hope that you enjoy our paper. In particular, we hope that while reading, you experience some of the excitement that we had when we were writing it, because a lot of seemingly unrelated things about eukaryotes very suddenly fell into place, and all that in the course of one very exciting day. <laughs>